Everybody knows to look both ways when you cross the street. But what do you do at train tracks? Some of it feels obvious because the train is, is very large and they move very fast. Students and even employees can get of the mindset that a train can't sneak up on you. Uh, whereas almost every instance that we've had an incident here on campus or in town, it absolutely did sneak up on someone. After an incident with a train at Goshen College, the campus woke up to the dangers that trains pose. It was an instance where uh, an employee was operating a machine uh, on campus that was loud, uh, was trying to avoid pedestrians, uh, and in the midst of that kind of lost sight that a train was coming. Uh, and the train did strike the vehicle uh, just from the front end. The city of Goshen urges the importance of train safety. Yeah, again, I, again, I mean, just follow the, the guidelines, um, follow the measures in place, and, you know, don't try and do, don't try and beat the train, don't try and cut through the train. Both Coleman and Carwin agree that you should be vigilant at a train track. Exercising additional caution uh, when you're approaching a railroad track, always like stopping, looking both ways following the signs, following the guidelines, um, and then always being aware. Guardrails aren't present at every crossing. Sometimes there's no guardrails down on our campus right now, nor are there uh, any kind of obstructions in campus walkways. It is truly up to the individual to exercise caution. Every space on uh, in town has a rail that comes down except for that one. The city has ways to keep the community safe. I mean, we do. We have some pedestrian um, tunnels, and then there's different gates for pedestrians that they have to you know maneuver through uh, and we also are working with the railroad right now on several crossings there are laws in place including not climbing over a stopped train not only is it dangerous it's against the law uh, even crossing over the railroad tracks on a non-pedestrian walkway or drive up uh, is also against the law Coleman has some advice uh, having headphones on or the windows and or loud music when you're traveling across there um, is not a good idea. So you've seen that most instances, a train accident often ends in death. So it is a very serious thing. Norfolk Southern Railway declined to comment. Reporting for Globe News, I'm Amelia Lee.